capability of modern warfare with airborne troops, armored wedges, and groups of partisans that suddenly appear inside the friendly positions far behind the actual front line has led to the designing of the new Bofors 10.5 centimeter howitzer. It can be fired in all directions, all round the horizon, without moving the trails or any other routine that involves a delay in opening fire. The central pivot bearing rests on three points, a supporting plate that carries the major portion of the weight of the gun and two ground plates out at the ends of the fixed trails. The ground plates have holders for pickets which prevents the gun from moving horizontally during firing. In addition to the fixed trails, the gun is provided with two movable trails. When the gun is in firing position, these are secured to the fixed parts by means of two hydraulic buffer devices. The two movable trails are also fitted with ground plates and pickets. The wheels are mounted on the cradle carrier. The elevating gear hand wheel and drive are situated on the right hand side of the gun. The hand wheel for traversing is on the left side. Different gear ratios can be chosen. For quick traversing, the traversing gear can be disconnected and the gun can be swung around by hand. The cradle with claw guides for the recoil movement of the barrel contains the recoil brake and the recuperating device. The latter is hydropneumatic. The recoil brake and the recuperating device are built into a box-shaped chamber which, if necessary, can be filled with a liquid for cooling the two cylinders. In order to facilitate loading at high elevations while maintaining the low height of fire, the barrel is situated far forwards on the gun. The equilibrator ensures complete balance at all elevations, that is, from minus five to plus 65 degrees. The barrel has a length of 28 calibers. It is fitted with a muzzle brake. The twist of the rifling is progressive. The breech mechanism is semi-automatic with a vertical breech block which, during firing, opens automatically during the recuperation and ejects the empty cartridge case. The loading tray also sinks automatically to the loading position when the empty cartridge case has been ejected and returns to its upper position when the breech block is closed. device is of the conventional type with a panoramic sight in the upper part for the combating of tanks and armored vehicles. The gun also has a sight with an extra large field of vision in traverse. This sight can be operated by one man from the right hand side. The shield protects the gun crew from splinters and small arms fire. The 
wheels can be equipped with a brake system of a conventional type and also have mechanical parking brakes. The wheels have pneumatic tires but can also be fitted with bulletproof tires. The total weight of the gun is 2.6 tons. In firing position, the gun rests on three points, the supporting plate and the ground plates on the two fixed trails. The supporting plate is situated so far in front of the turning centre of the gun that the centre of gravity of the traversing system is always well within the effective supporting surface. In order to be able to fire in these directions without any risk that the gun will tip over, the gun is provided with two movable trails. Movable trails are each provided with a buffer device which, when locked, prevents the trail from moving upwards. As the ground is usually somewhat uneven, the buffer device has a certain margin for the vertical position of the trail when it is locked. Being fitted with pneumatic tyres, the gun is easy to move even cross country. The power requirements of the prime mover are small. In this case, an ordinary agricultural tractor is being used with a shaft-driven cart on which the crew can ride and on which there is also room for ammunition, spares and other equipment. Traversability in rough country is entirely dependent upon the characteristics of the prime mover and when the towing vehicle bogs down, the gun can be manhandled. Only a few simple operations are required to convert the gun from travelling position to firing position and with a well-trained crew this takes only about a minute. trails with a lunette are disengaged from the towing vehicle and each other and are folded out.
sporting plate is turned down and pushed in under the gun. The weight of the gun is then shifted over on the supporting plate using the movable trails as levers. The wheels are folded up from the ground and locked in place. After the movable trails have been spread, the hydraulic locking devices are connected. Guns are aligned and the ammunition prepared. As it is possible to fire in the upper register and an approximate number of increment charges can be used, the gun can give the kind of fire desired at any point whatever within the circular area with a radius of 14.6 kilometers. The loading tray makes the loading work easy at all elevations. Four rounds can be fired in seven seconds. At sustained firing, the rate of fire is 25 rounds per minute. The standard ammunition includes two types of projectiles, high explosive shells and armor piercing shells. The high explosive shell weighs 15.5 kilos and has a bursting charge of 2.1 kilos of TNT. The high explosive shell has three standard fuses. The proximity fuse, which gives an air burst at an appropriate height above the ground. The time impact fuse, which can be set to burst in the air. Or used as a direct action fuse. And finally, the direct action and graze fuse. It is used for impact bursts. Or for ricochet bursts with low trajectories. If the battery position is threatened by tanks, 
the gun can rapidly be used as anti-tank artillery and can then be operated by one man. armor-piercing projectile is of the discarding sabot type with a high muzzle velocity and a flat trajectory. It has good penetrating power and is provided with a tracer. The dispersion is low. This is a typical 10-round series fired at a range of 10,300 meters. The percent zone is in general less than 0.5% of the range. The total dispersion here is 105 meters. In case a sudden attack during transport, the gun can be fired while resting on its wheels after the movable trails have been disengaged from the clamping devices. that have been carried out have shown that Bofors has produced a light field artillery weapon that is very well suited for modern warfare, where rapidity and maneuverability must be combined with strength and striking power.